No, you'll be okay. Mm. You'll be good. You've got a thousand pounds. So, Andy, I'm trying to get the trick of you. you you've got a history degree. Yes. But now you're working as a barman. Yeah. Um, money's not as good, but it's what you enjoy and it's something you can stick at and enjoy meeting new people all the time. But you want to eventually teach, don't you? Yes. Uh, well, hoping to, yes. Um, so, are you not? I'm sorry, I'm being quite nosy, really, but having just sort of finished a degree course and got presumably fairly heavily into that, because all the students have come on tell me that, are you not now getting deeper and deeper into debt? Yeah, well, yeah, I'm slowly trying to claw myself out of debt. Mm. It's not really working very well. Um, and luckily, I've got the opportunity now, and the £1,000 is going to help. Um, put Be truthful there. then, Andy. Andy Cole, tell me, <laughs> where up that ladder would you level off your debts? 20 grand. <sighs> Yeah, it's... Uh, I'm it's just amazed. A lot, of the, a lot of the guys who come on here and, and, and girls who just left university or college, you just think, how do you ever sort of claw that back before you, before you start, really? So you it's need £20,000 at least from us, don't you? <laughs> yes, that, that would be great news. Okay, that. <laughs> that's what we're here for. Right, OK. Um, you had £1,000, that's guaranteed. You're, you're about 19 short of your total at the moment. Question number three is for £2,000. From now on, you've got 30 seconds for each answer up to, hopefully, up to question number seven for 50 grand when the clock will stop. Right, question number three is this. Pressing control, alt, and which other key is a way of rebooting a computer? 30 seconds, here they come. Delete, forward slash, scroll, tab. It's delete, final answer, Chris. I've had to do it quite a lot of the time. <laughs> That's the right answer. You've got 2,000 pounds. <laughs> question number four. Against the clock again, 30 seconds. This is the question. Bradley Wiggins is a top name in which sport? 30 seconds, start the clock. Darts, show jumping, cycling, athletics. He's a very successful cyclist, Chris, so final answer, cycling. Certain? Yep. That's the right answer, you've got 5,000. <laughs> right, you have 5,000 pounds. You have three lifelines. Question five is for 10 grand. This is getting to be serious money, Andy. Here it comes. Which of these is a word for a Spanish gentleman? Start the clock. Castillo, Carbonada, Costa, Caballero. Can I have 50-50? You can, stop the clock. Right, computer, take away two random wrong answers. Leave Andy the right answer and the one remaining wrong answer. Two left. Clock starts again. Final answer, Caballero. You don't sound very confident for the first time. <sighs> it's a why long time you... since I did a bit of Spanish. <laughs> why, do you... why would it be that? Um, well, I, I know Costa is coast, so I think. Or something along that, Costa de Sal. We'll take a break. Join us again in a couple of minutes for the next part of yeah. tonight's Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? Don't go away. Welcome back to the final part of tonight's new look, Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? We left Andy Cole from Worcester just before the break with a bit of a cliffhanger. On this question for £10,000, which of these is a word for Spanish gentleman? There were four options, two went on a 50-50. Two were left, Costa or Caballero, and he admitted he hasn't done Spanish for a while, and he went for Caballero. Think you're right? Hopefully, yes. <laughs> it's the right answer, you've got £10,000. <laughs> Now, you have £10,000. You've got two lifelines remaining. You are two away from £50,000. You've got £10,000 at this moment. You would lose nine grand, Andy Cole, if you gave me a wrong answer. Question number six is this. You'll have 30 seconds. 
In 2008, who became the first British woman to top the US charts for more than 20 years? 30 seconds, these are the options. Lily Allen, Leona Lewis, Amy Winehouse, Duffy. Can I phone a friend? You can't stop the clock. Right, let's have a look, who have you got? OK, uh, Ian, that's my girlfriend's father. Samantha in the middle and somebody completely blurred called yeah. James on, on the bottom. <laughs> he works with me with uh, my old who'd school. Know? Now, who'd know this? Ian. OK, this is Katie's dad. Yeah, he's not bad on music. OK, we'll phone him. Where's he? He's in Port Talbot. <laughs> oh, is he? Is he, is he surfing? <laughs> Probably not. Um, <laughs> OK, we'll phone Ian. Uh, tell him the question, four possible answers. Uh, it's worth £20,000, one of them is. Hello? Ian? Yeah? Chris Tarrant, good evening. Hiya. How are you? All right, thanks. Well, I've got Andy here, I've got Katie here. Katie's looking more and more embarrassed by the second. In fact, she's more embarrassed now because Dad's voice is on the phone. Um, <laughs> Andy's doing all right. He's stuck on a particular question. He thinks you'll know it. It's worth quite a lot of money. Uh, Ian, it's worth 20 grand to him. OK. So it's proper money. All right, mate. OK. Right, 30 seconds. Andy, fingers crossed. Your time starts now. Hello, Ian. Hi, Ryan. How are you doing? In 2008, who became the first British woman to top the US charts for more than 20 years? So that's 2008 British woman. A, Lily Allen, B, Le Leona Lewis, C, Amy Winehouse, or D, Duffy? Um, I'm not 100% sure. I think it would be Leona Lewis, but I don't know 100%. That's what I was feeling as well, Ian. Thanks a lot, Ian. OK. Thank you very much. Good luck, Dan. Thank you. What do you say, Thorne? Clock's restarted. Final answer, Leona Lewis. Not Amy Winehouse? No. It's the right answer, you got £20,000. Oh. That's a nice fact. The previous one was Kim Wilde back in 1987. Now, you have 20 grand at this moment. You said you wanted 20 grand. You've got 20 grand. You could walk away. However, you are one right answer away from £50,000. That would be a serious check, and that would be the minimum amount you'd go home with, Andy. One more question against the clock. 30 seconds. Question number seven is this. Which woman in public life has children called Track, Bristol, Willow, Piper and Trig? 30 seconds from now for 50 grand. Sarah Palin, Madonna, Harriet Harman, J.K. Rowling. Lifeline, please, Chris. Right, stop the clock. Audience, here's the question. Which woman in public life has children called Track, Bristol, Willow, Piper and Trig? Now, A on your keypad is Sarah Palin, B is Madonna, C, Harriet Harman, and D, J.K. Rowling. Which one, A, B, C or D, all vote now. Sarah Palin, 57%. Madonna, 24%. Harriet Harman, 7%. J.K. Rowling, 12%. Restart the clock, 22 seconds. I always said to myself, if the audience were around over 50% sure, then I'm going to go for the audience. So, come on, audience, be right for me, please. <laughs> um, I'm going to go with the audience, final answer. Come on. Not Madonna. I, I'm pretty sure it's not Madonna. <laughs> you just won £50,000! <laughs> Right then, relaxation time. <laughs> Former governor of uh, Alaska and nominee for vice president. Five kids, all with well, very funny names. Now, have a look. <laughs> £50,000. That's the minimum... Has this sunk in? It probably hasn't yet. This is the minimum amount you will be leaving here with tonight. Take it. It's yours. 
Um, I'm aiming to go higher now, and I've got the switch. Um, and I I'm not going to lose anything now. That's my like. safe haven now. You are so a safe haven. I'm, I'm the quite there. happy person now. So, £50,000 now is the very least Andy could go home with, and from now on he can calm down and take his time over answering the next few questions. Plus, plus, he has now earned that extra lifeline switch where he can get rid of a question he doesn't like the look of and switch it for a brand new replacement question. Question number eight is for £75,000. You might as well play this, Andy. You can't lose. You're guaranteed to go home with 50. Have a look. These are the four options and take your time if you need it. The film critic Barry Norman markets his own brand of which product? Popcorn, pickled onions, pizza, peanut butter. One of those is worth £75,000. If you haven't got the foggiest, you could switch the question. It doesn't ring any bells, I'm afraid, so um, that switch... Um, yeah, the switch lifeline, please, Chris. OK, just out of interest. Um, what would you think? They all I don't think it's like pizza, it. because... Uh, um, being a student, ex-student, we <laughs> used to eat a lot of pizza and didn't ring any bells there. Popcorn, maybe. Peanut butter. I'd go for... Popcorn. Uh, interestingly, Katie thinks it's peanut butter. Popcorn or peanut butter. Uh, good thing you got rid of this, because the right answer is pickled onions. <laughs> Barry's a love <laughs> He's a mate. He says it's a secret family recipe of the Norman family. So, let's ditch it and switch it. So uh, this is the new question. Flushing and Forest Hills are areas in which New York borough? Bronx, Brooklyn, Queens, Staten Island. Now, one of those is worth £75,000. You have no lifelines remaining. But you should play it. Um, I've been to New York quite a few years ago. Um, I don't think it's Brooklyn. Um, I'm going to go for Queen's final answer. Why? <laughs> um, it's either that or Staten Island. <laughs> um, just... An old friend of mine uh, used to be on an old band a few years ago. He's from New York, he's from Queens, and I don't think it's... I mean, with being flushing of Forest Hills, they sound quite open and quite nice place. You're rambling, aren't you? Yeah, I don't really know. You had £50,000! You've still got £50,000, but you now have another £25,000 to go with it! Just won £75,000! <laughs> Believe! And there's more classic Who Wants to Be a Millionaire next here on Challenge as more friends get phoned and more checks get written. Then we're in for a DNA Impact Wrestle as we bring you some great stuff for 2014. Later, the grappling continues as there's a DNA Explosion 2014.